So I'm just gonna lightly take a little pressure off that tank and then I can get a sense for how much uh, gas is in there. There really wasn't much on the gas gauge, but these are pretty big tanks, so. feel like there's much in there at all. <sighs> okay, so she's starting to ease out. Alex, if you would come over here. Could you take that jack out of the way there, son? Just pull it out of the way. I don't think it's holding anything, is it? Yeah, it's just a little bit. I can't turn it with just my hands up. Uh, uh, yeah, if you could get that out of the way. Pull it out. Uh, there we go. We got her. Sort of wasn't really the way I was expecting, but, but it worked. Uh, all right. Yeah. So I mean, you know, you kind of gotta wiggle it. We had to, we had to kind of, we had to kind of wiggle it this way and get that nose down a little more and wiggle it that way so it cleared that thing and then. And then it just came right out, kind of twisted. And then this, as it twisted down, and it came right out. So, so we got we got the tank out of there, and it looks good up under there, which is great. Um, but this way we know, and we're going to protect up there. We're going to protect the top of this tank. We're going to, you know. Do things right. We want this car. My goal is to whoever buys this car, they're going to know this car should last another 50 years. No reason why it shouldn't last another 50 years. So um, we'll go ahead and get this the rest of the way out of here. I'm going to plug up the holes for the gas line and the holes, yep, they go into the gas tank. And then that way we'll make sure we don't have any fumes going on out here. Um, and then we can start to clean up the tank and underneath the car, so. Beautiful. We got the gas tank out. Um, we've put a couple bolts in the hoses just to keep them from uh, you know, from gas or fumes to leaking out. 
and we put a plug on the line that goes to the car as well. Um, and the tank looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of surface rust, but that's no big deal. Um, we're gonna power wash it, clean it off real good, and then we'll uh, likely use the rust stop and uh, one step and then um, uh, probably research what color this tank was uh, new. Um, looks like it's just a galvanized tank and it was probably just galvanized so maybe I'll just paint it galvanized steel but whatever um, whatever it looked like originally that's that's what we'll do but first we'll stop any surface rust and well wash it and stop any surface rust and then paint it so real happy to have this out and it looks good um, give it some love like everything else and then uh, Eventually we'll put it back in, but uh, we're gonna do the one step underneath the car as well, because uh, although we haven't found any major you know, rust under there, there's surface rust um, wherever there wasn't some uh, rust proofing. A lot of rust proofing, it looks like it was originally rust proofed, but that's so old, it's a lot of it's cracked and fallen off. So we're gonna get all that off, and make sure that we've got any of that loose rust proofing off and then that way we can treat it where we need to um, with some rust killer and then we'll re-rust proof it and you know make it make it right so you know beautiful day we're just going to keep working uh, last thing we got to do on the rear of the car is take the shocks off we're gonna um, do that and then then we'll have the whole underneath of the car everything out of there and uh, like i said we can rust treat it um, and then make everything right before we start putting it back together. So, hope you stay with us. See you soon. Beautiful day. Uh, we're just going to keep working and see talk see see more of you soon. What was that? What did I say? This bolt's so new it'll thread right off by hand. So. Got a washer and a lock washer on the other side.